I made up my mind at the front door divorce immediately from my husband. Then, with great force, I opened a door. Wow! You scared me. My husband, David, ended his call. Welcome home. You're home early today. Yes, I'm back. Your Atom is back home now. Uh, what do you mean? My husband's face is completely pale. I heard about everything what you six talking about just now. So, let's just quickly get a divorce. My name is Natalie. Four years ago, I married my husband, David. But I would learn the shocking truth about my husband. I would ask myself what I saw in my husband over the past four years of being married. But there's no point in regretting what has already happened in the past. All I can do at this point is just kept on. The story goes back a few years. My husband was a regular customer at my favorite bars. So that's where I first met my husband. We hit it off very well. And my husband being flirty with me and we had a few drinks together. But at the time, the reason for this was because I was only 14 years old. At the time, while David was much older than me, I was still single and I was over zero desire to get married, but I still wanted to have kids, Eve. I didn't really see myself getting. Natalie, are you seriously single? Well, you're so quick to get that information. That bar manager must have talked about you, right? Are you maybe a divorcee? Nope, I'm not even a divorcee. Are you serious? If you're that beautiful, no man will leave you alone, right? Oh, David, you really have no clue? You're too young. You know, men don't want an independent woman like me as their wife. They'd feel inferior. Yeah, really. That's the reason why I haven't been get married in the past too. I've been asked to be a stay-at-home mom and do the house chores once I become one. But marriage is not for me. I'm sure there are many couples who overcome even after they get married. But I didn't meet anyone like that. See, well, I don't know what to say, but sorry that happened and good job for trying. Oh, come on. Don't feel sorry for me. I love my life, you know. That's good then. Well, let's toast for that and drink tonight. Like that, we became friends and started drinking together. Three more years. And out of the blue, David asked me him. Hey, Natalie, will you marry me? What? What did you just say? I accidentally spit out the beer I was drinking. Wow, it got on me. I'm sorry. Sorry. Well, you know, we're having so much fun drinking together, right? So don't you think it would be even if we got married? Uh, well, not really. I didn't think that. Oh, so you're not really a man? No, 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 no. Of course, I recognize you as a man, but I see you as someone who I would have romantic feelings for. You know, you're just a fun drinking buddy. Oh, is that so? But I saw you as a woman with romantic feelings from the beginning, Natalie. What is this? Really? Yeah. I always thought how fun it would be to marry someone like you, Data. Oh, is that so? Well, thank you for thinking that. Despite how I look, I'm a good cook. I'm also pretty good at doing hows. Well, that's something new. You think so? Even men do house chores nowadays. Oh, really? Yup, they do. I think I'm a pretty good choice for... Natalie, you can just focus on your, and I'll take care of the house chores. I'll cook delicious meals and clean up around the house really nicely. On top of that, you'll have a great time talking to someone who is also interested in drinking. Come to think of it, that doesn't ski bad. David is not at all like the other have asked me to marry them. That's great. He's going to take the house for me. No, no, I should be a little more specific. I'm not even in a relationship with him, and he already asked me to marry him. 
this could be a risky issue. Look, with everything that you said happy, but you and I have never be relationship before. And if you're asking me to go out first, that's understandable, but asking to marry right away is just, well, it's also really nice of you to do something like that for an old lady who is older than you, but asking for marriage out of the blue is... Oh, really? Nowadays, it's not unusual for people to get married after just a few days of dating. Didn't this also happen with celebrities? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know much about celebrity gossip. Let's just get married. Marriage is all about finding a partner who compliments you. Someone who brings out the best in you. I think I'd make a pretty good partner, do you think? Um, but I'm eight years older than you. Won't you think that would be an issue? Huh? If there were $51 bills on the table, would you be able to tell which was which? No, I don't think so. Then the concept is exactly the same that you may be concerned about the age now, but when you're 58, I'm 50, re. So, there's not much difference if you look at it that way. I see David's point. So, I accepted his marriage. To be honest, this all happened because I was earning money without any issues or thoughts that it would be easy to just divorce if we didn't work out. I enjoyed drinking with David so much that I felt like it would be normal to live together. And so my husband came to live in the house that I owned once we got married. My husband really took charge of the house and did a lot of things for me. Welcome home, Natalie. It's beef stew today. I'm home. Wow. I can even smell how good it is from outside the house. Thank you. Shall we open a bottle of white wine? Sounds good. All of my husband's dishes are all really delicious. Natalie, I ironed your shirt for you. My life became a lot easier after I met my husband. But one day, a little incident happened. Oh, Natalie, welcome home. I cooked pasta for dinner. Thanks. Oh, you look a little down today. Did something happen at work? Yeah, I'm actually being bullied by my boss. What? My husband looked a little depressed. It's happened many times before, but like I'm losing my mind. From what I heard, David's boss has been harassing him relentlessly, mm. forcing him to do jobs that David was not even hired for. And then I said something which I should not have. Looking back now, I realized that Mai had tricked me into saying that. You should just quit if they're treating you like that. But. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to use this method. You won't be able to go on if you keep like that. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a good idea to use that. It's okay. I'm earning money. As long as it's okay with you, I don't really mind if you just become a full-time house husband. Of course. Thank you so much for taking care of the house even while you were away. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't realize it sooner. So, my husband quit his job and became a full-time house husband. I never let my husband, who originally took care of the house, pay for our living expenses. It's only natural that he would help out with the housework, since he cares about it so much. When my husband quit his job, our one not become difficult. I can easily earn enough money to pa husband's allowance and my husband continued to go out of the house. I was relieved that David had found a new job, and he seemed to be very energetic. After four years of such peaceful marriage, she somehow felt that something strange was going on. Welcome back. Today's dinner is beef stew. Thank you. Oh, I love your beef stew. Thank you so much for everything. Bon appetit. It tasted a little different, from the one I had before. Did he make a mistake? I mean, it does taste good, don't get me wrong, but um, how shall I explain it? It's clearly a different type of beef. How is it? Is it yummy? Yeah, thanks as always. 
Oh. That's a relief. I spent more time on it than usual. Oh. So that means that he overcooked, but the texture is pretty harder than though. After that day, my husband's meat flavors, which I have never tasted before in his cooking. Hey, David, how was your health this year? Yeah, the one where I can get since company sponsors them as your benefit. I went to that last month. That's what I thought too. Were there any issues? I showed you my results the other day. What? What? Are you worried about me? My husband sounded like he was in a good mood, but something was different. I guess I must have had a woman's intuition even for someone like me. I took time out of my work schedule as an investigator and asked them to investigate my husband. And as a result, I discovered that was cheating on me. But for some reason, I wasn't shocked. Maybe somewhere in the back of my mind, I thought that one day this day might come. David's mistress was a woman in her 20s. My husband is having an affair with a woman who is more than 20 years younger than him. I guess men really are attracted to women. So thinking that rather than being, I thought to myself that that's just it is. Although I found out the truth, I immediately think about divorcing Deke. It's not like I asked the investigator to investigate David just because I wanted to get a divorce but I just wasn't feeling comfortable with my husband anymore. My husband has been very devoted to his work and he was doing it to the best of his abilities. If David hadn't had an affair with a woman who wasn't going to expose him, he wouldn't have been in this situation and could have waited for things to cool down. But I was still a little sad and deep about the fact that David did have. I went home early that day, just as I was about to insert the key in the front door I heard my husband's loud laughter. It's okay, I can go see you now. My husband seemed to be on the phone, mistress. What a day! Great timing, huh? Don't worry about money. My Adam will take care of it. Um, what did he say just now? Exactly, my wife's nickname is, um, I only married Aiden just for the moment. Otherwise, I wouldn't have married Hag. Cooking? Oh, it's fine, it's fine. I've been preparing to prepackage recently nowadays, so I have enough time. Oh, so that's how it is, huh? I guess my husband only saw me as a means to an end at the beginning. All of my husband's meals are deli. If you ask me whether I want to eat it, I won't eat it at all. And it seems like He's been eating only prepackaged meals. Even I can prepare that for myself. Welcome back. Your Atom is back home now. Oh, uh, what do you mean? My husband's face is completely pale. I heard about everything what you were talking about just now. What a great idea. Oh, come on, that was just a joke. A joke? When you're having an affair behind? No, no, no. There's no way I'm having a fair. I was just joking around with my friends. They're all guys. Then what is this? I put the documents that showed the investigation agency's findings. My husband picked it up, looked at what it was, hmm, and immediately slammed down the documents on the table. Um, well. Yes, you've been cheating on me. If it was just a fling, I wouldn't be feeling this way but I'm not that carefree enough to be with someone who treats me like an ass. Well, I am no longer obligated to S you. Then my husband became defiant. Divorce, huh? You sure about that? Natalie, if we get a divorce, you'll be alone. You know that? What are you going to do? Like when you get older and you age has to look after you. I mean, you're going to poison me or kill me for money, aren't you? David doesn't even try to deny the, that's exactly what he was trying to. I really couldn't believe him. Oh man, so that means I really can make money, huh Natalie? Then fine, we can get a divorce. I also have a girlfriend who claims daughter of a wealthy family who uh, makes more money than you, Natalie. What? I thought you were having an affair with only one woman, right? 
wow, the investigator who you asked to investigate me did a really crappy investigation on me. How could they only find that I had with one woman? Ah, uh, well, just leave, okay? Okay. Is that what you think I would say? When this is my house, you should be the one to leave, okay? Since we're a married couple, we share properties, you know. Even this house, I'm entitled to... How ignorant are you? Well, we need a lawyer in between to about this. So, let's discuss this on another day. Just get out of here. So, I just left the house as soon as once I got some of my things, by how my husband was acting around like he would never leave the house. There was no point in talking with, even though I was being kicked out, all be settled under the law. When I returned to the house with a lawyer, a few days later, my husband was really surprised. David probably really didn't think lawyer would really come. You. I will because this is my house. I won't allow you to illegally occupy my land. This house is in my name, so you'll definitely lose. It's going to cost a lot of money. When my husband heard that it would cost a lot of money, he accepted. To move out of the house and packed up his belongings in about three days. Later, the divorce was successfully finalized, but my ex-husband was still being obsessed with money. He wanted half of my property, but when it was discovered that my ex-husband had been having an affair with a woman and that I told him that I would request alimony, he got quite instantly. In the end, it was agreed that the property would be sold within four years after the divorce to pay off the alimony. At that time, my ex-husband spoke with the wealthy young lady who was his friend and boldly said she would never run out of money. David only spoke about money until end. A month later, as I was regaining my and quiet, I received a phone call, David. Natalie, I'm really sorry. Oh, so you're apologizing to me now. What happened? That woman was a fraud. You know, uh, the woman with the wee family. What else do you want to know about? Did she take all your money? Yes, exactly. She asked me if I wanted to join her father's investment. So I gave her all the money I'd saved the years I worked. She told me I'd make a lot of money. Die, you're such an idiot. Natalie, please help me. I really don't have any money anymore. Well then, have a nice life. Goodbye, I'm blocking you. I then hung up the phone and blocked my ex-husband's contact information. Later, my ex-husband was seen by the bartender at the bar I used to go to, and it looked like David was waiting in line for the factory with a group of people. I'm sure David's working with them. He's getting old, so I'm sure no one him seriously anymore. David is a good cook, so I'm sure he could make a good living if he became a chef. But I guess he'll understand them on his own, in his own time. I am currently focusing solely on my because of what happened with my ex. David mentioned that I would like retirement, but I will be fine. I will on my own. I'm planning to save up and go into care when I get older. It is okay for everyone to have a D path in life. I will live my life the way I want to. A marriage after zero days in a relationship, what a challenger, huh? But I guess Natalie was able to do that because she had enough money. I hope Natalie's life from now on W prosperous. Thank you for watching until the end. Please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in our next video.